sunshines, welcome to Vlogmas day number three. As y'all can see, we in my kitchen, the little small little kitchen or whatever. But I'm about to make my famous chili. I make this chili like every year, especially when it starts getting cold, but especially for Christmas. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my chili. You know you need your meat, your ground beef, you got your dark kidney beans. I got my onions and bell pepper already pre-cut. Got me chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, just a blend of seasonings right here. And I have some Tony's seasoning. You know, Tony's got that extra little kick, y'all. So, and I also have some cans of diced tomatoes that I will be using. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and um get started. I'm going to turn my stove on medium heat. Y'all, have y'all been enjoying my... um? My Vlogmas day one and two so far. I hope so. I'm not going to use all this meat. I'm only going to use a portion of it. I oh, should have had it already cut up. Damn meat. Fucking shit and fell off. So I got my ground beef in my pot. I don't know why my husband chose this pot for me to do it in. This is the most complicated and difficult pot that we have in our um in our um stuff, uh, kitchen. So I'm gonna let that brown up a little bit. Chip, I hate you chose this pie. This, this, I'm not making them that much chili. To be this, this pie. Mm. Y'all, what y'all cook for dinner? I think with this chili, I'm going to be able to eat on it for at least two days, depending on the hubby, because he'll eat some, eat some again at night, and then take some to work uh, for lunch. So, so we still working on our ground beef browning. And sometimes I like to let my meat kind of cook all the way through before I add my vegetables. It's just the way I like to do it. Because I don't want to have, you know, soggy um, vegetables, um, too soggy vegetables in my meat, you know. I mean, your, your vegetables and stuff will cook before your, your meat get brown. Alright, you guys, you see how my meat is almost... Halfway brown. I'm done browning. Y'all ain't never done this before. I ain't no uh, cooking channel. I'm just showing y'all my favorite um, winter meal. So I'm about to add in my onions and bell pepper. I got the hubby holding the camera for me because my tripod was in my way and stuff. So I got my onions and my um, bell pepper in my meat. Next, I'm going to start adding some seasoning. So first, I'm going to just randomly throw my seasoning in. Um, I got my Tony's Creole seasoning. 
I got my herb seasoning blend. I got my onion powder. And I already measured everything, y'all. So it was like a teaspoon to have each seasoning besides the Tony's. Um, got my, uh, my, my garlic powder. And I'm going to get that a mix before I add in my chili seasoning. This smells good already. All right, you got it. I'm going to add me some Swanson beef broth. I'm just going to eyeball it. This is just going to help with flavor. Let me see. I think I have a little swig left. I'm going to go ahead and just finish that off because I ain't but a little bit. And I hate folks to leave a drop in the doggone pot. I mean, in the refrigerator. So, added that. I'm going to let that cook down. All right, now, we finna get ready to add our chili seasoning. Just some generic Walmart brand chili seasoning. Just add that in here. Mix it all around. Ugh. This pot is a big mama, honey. I'm telling you, you gotta have some damn arm muscle to stir this shit. Ooh, see how, that, how that's looking? Yes. All right now, it's time to add our kidney beans. This is about four cans of kidney beans. Let's get that a fluff. Let's turn that heat down because our meat is already cooked. We don't need to burn it. Just add those kidney beans in there and give it a turn. All right, you guys, I'm just add me a cup of water to my meat mixture. And I'm going to just give it a spin. And this just helps stretch out my um, beef broth and season that might not have gotten mixed up. It just kind of helps it. Next, I'm going to just add me some diced tomatoes. All these are already drained. Don't add no juice. And we're going to get that another, another turn. Ooh, that's looking good, mama. Ooh, yes. I like my chili meaty. So we got this all mixed up. Now we just going to let it simmer. Let it simmer about 8 to 10 minutes. Y'all, look how I'm holding this thing spoon. <laughs> this shit heavy as hell. All right, you guys, I'll come back once I get everything simmered and plated. So, y'all, I'm going to add a little sriracha to it for a little kick. All right, you guys, let's see what it look like. I'll film it. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Woo All right, you guys, I'll come back on once I plate it and everything. All right, you guys, I got my ladder because I want to get some of that good juice to add to my bowl. Just like that. All right, you guys, this is the finished product. It looks so yummy. I hope you guys try this recipe. If you do, let me know down in the comments below. And if you're following me on Instagram at Live2Shine, you can let me know over there as well because I will be posting 
a clip of tonight's um, chili dinner. All right, you guys. I hope you have truly enjoyed this um, Vlogmas day number three. And I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye.